Welcome to the IPEX Cloud Management Portal. This video will introduce the IPEX Cloud Portal and show you how to complete some common tasks for your company's phone system. Before we get started, you will need your IPEX user ID and user password. These will have been provided to you during the setup phase. Please contact your system administrator if you are not sure of any of these details. The first screen you will see upon logging in is your My Home dashboard. My Home can be customised to display information such as call logs and statistics, as well as giving a summary of your company's service. The appearance of My Home can be customised by navigating to the My Home setting page using the sidebar menu. To populate the My Home screen, drag and drop items from the My Home menu on the right of the screen and click Save. The Favourites bar at the top of the screen can also be customised to include shortcuts to useful menu items. To customise the Favourites bar, click on the star icon at the top right of the screen. To add a feature, press a plus symbol and select the menu item you would like to add. To save your Favourites bar, click on the Save icon or press the circle arrow to reset your choices. There are various menus to navigate on the left hand side of the portal. Starting from the top, the company section is used to manage company-wide options like daily call spend limits or call barring. Global settings like feature codes and a company directory are also controlled through this section. User setup lets you configure all the users of your system. Here you can see an overview of your users and what packages and devices they have been assigned. To change the details or settings of a user, select their entry in the user list then press modify or double click anywhere below the user list. To change a user's phone configuration, scroll down then press phone configuration. This gives a phone configuration window, allowing you to change the configuration of each button. Call manager is the engine room of your phone system. This is where your call flows are configured. Hunt groups, for example, bring multiple extensions when one of your phone numbers is called. To configure a hunt group, either select one and press modify or create a new one by pressing add. Here you can change the hunt type, times of operation and other call handling options. To add or remove members, press change under the current member list. Users on the left are current members of the group. On the right are users that are available to add to the group. Auto attendants are configured through the auto attendant page. Here you can set an extension number and direct dial number for your auto attendant among other options. Operation hours for your auto attendant can be configured under schedule setting. The auto attendant can use different scenarios or menus at different times or days to allow for in hours and out of hour call menus. To configure the call menu, go to the scenario define, then select the scenario you want to change now press modify to open up options. Digit setting is where you will build your menu. Each digit can be configured to send the call to any extension on the system or to launch another menu. Each new menu is configured in the same way as the first and will need its own prompt file. ACD groups are call queues. To add members to the ACD group, press change. Moving extensions to the member list on the right will add them to the group. Extensions must have the ACD group user option enabled under user setup before they can be added to the group. The queuing tab allows you to define settings for your call queue. Here you can set announcements for your callers as well as a timeout destination and overflow to be used if the maximum queue length is reached. The Time tab is where the operation times of your ACD group are configured. Further fine controls on the behaviour of the queue are set under the Agent tab. To view and configure your conferences, navigate to Conference Rooms. Modifying a conference lets you set a name, number and dial-in password. The DDI summary is a list of the phone numbers assigned to your system. Here you can also change where each number routes when it's dialed. Select a number and press modify to change its routing. You can set the number to route to any component of the system, whether it's for user's direct dial or it is a company main number to be assigned to an auto attendant. The call recorded report gives a view of the latest recorded calls in your system. Calls can be filtered by time, date, extension or telephone number. 
To play or download a report, press the relevant button to the right of the row, highlighting the call you're interested in. The device status page lists all devices, either handsets or soft phones associated with your system against their respective users and status. Thank you for watching this brief introduction to the manager portal of your IPEX cloud system.